Uh, Dusty, uh, during the time that Hank was uh, going for Babe Ruth's uh, record, I know you were a member of the Braves, and I think you were on deck when he hit the home run, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what was that like, uh, seeing Hank Aaron go through the pressure of um, breaking the immortal Babe Ruth's home run record? Well, it was tough. Uh, it was tough on him, you know, but he was focused. He was focused every day. I was with him. He used to read half the letters he got, especially, uh, you know, uh, most of the hate mail, most of the ra racial letters he got. Uh, I was with him and Calvin. Uh, you know, his bodyguard and Ralph Gar and myself, we hung out a lot in Paul Casanova. Uh, you know, he was lonely at the time, you know, because he had to have two rooms. You know, one room he slept in, one room took messages in, you know, like uh, he was, uh, the whole world was, was grabbing at him, but, you know, he was lonely at the time, too. And, uh, you know, he would gotten divorced a couple years before that, and, uh, you know, things, uh, you know, were tough on him. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a time and place where, people really didn't want him to break the record. You know, uh, it seems like it should have been the happiest days of his life, but he was most pressurized. I remember a few times he got a few death threats and uh, he told Ralph Gar and myself not to sit next to him in the dugout because some guy was going to shoot him from the upper deck. And, uh, you know, Ralph and I tried to act like we weren't afraid. We were like, hey, you know, Hank, we down with you, no problem. But me and Ralph were looking up that upper deck the whole time and Hank wasn't even paying attention to it. So. It was uh, it was uh, some some trying times, but it was some great great times, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world.